We finally get Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Finals between the Edmonton Oilers and Florida Panthers on Saturday night. And we have a couple of money-making opportunities, one in Game 1 and one for the series. My name is Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I also have a special offer to share with you guys at the end of a video that we're running over at Wager Talk and Sports Memo. But for now, if you guys could do me a favor and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's, let me know in the comment section who you guys like in this game or for the entire Cup Finals for that matter, whether it be a side, a total, a player prop. We'd love to hear from you. I'll be checking the comments and responding back to you guys leading up to the game. So looking at Game 1, puck drops 8 p.m. Eastern on, on ABC between the Florida Panthers and Edmonton Oilers. Both teams bouncing back from 2-1 deficits in the conference finals, both winning three straight games to advance. And you look at the head-to-head -head between these teams, Florida wins the, the head-to-head 2-0, winning 5-1 and 5-3. But that was before the Oilers really caught fire this year. Those games were right around the time of the coaching change before this team really gelled and really hit their stride heading into the postseason and throughout the postseason. And the first thing we'll be looking at here is Game 1's under of 5.5. You can get it at negative 102 right now. Over at DK, we've seen plenty of low-scoring conservative games throughout the postseason in the NHL, especially in the past couple of series. Teams, they don't want to make that big mistake. They're kind of feeling each other out early. And, you know, playing conservative hockey early on, especially in the, in the first game of the series, especially, I could see that. We've had two goaltenders here that are both on fire right now. Stuart Skinner, he's allowed two goals or less in eight of his last nine games. That's since he had that little reset in Vancouver, against Vancouver, where Picard took over for a couple of games. He was scuffling a little bit. Since that point, Stuart has been lights out, and Bobrovsky's been even better. He's allowed two or less in 10 of his last 11 games. And no surprise here, over the last 10 games, Florida 2-8 and eight to the under, Edmonton 2-7-1 and one to the under. So they've both been under teams for their last 10 games. Florida in the postseason allowing only 2.19 goals per game. Edmonton only allowing 2.61. We know Florida has a strong defense. Edmonton has really picked up defensively as well. And their penalty kill is lights out. Their special teams in general. But the penalty kill for Edmonton has been number one. And uh, so we're going to be looking at the under five and a half for game one. As far as the series play here, I'm taking the plus money with Edmonton. Plus 115 odds at DK. Now this is a client play for me over at sportsmemo.com. Edmonton number one in special teams. We just mentioned the penalty kill. But they're also number one in the postseason on the power play. They've been lights out in both categories. They're on the road, and that's part of the reason why they're underdogs, but they haven't really been bothered by playing on the road. 6-3 and three in the postseason on the road. McDavid and Dreisaitl, I just think that this is the type of speed that Florida hasn't seen yet. I don't think they can contain these two. I don't think they're going to be denied. This is their first shot at the Cup. And I really think that they steal home ice here, at least win one of these first two games, and they snatch away the home ice advantage from Florida. I also look at it, and Skinner... Was, the goaltending was supposed to be the weakness for the Oilers, and he's been lights out. He's been really strong. So I'm looking at Oilers here for the series with plus money. I don't think they're going to be denied. It's going to be the first time we see the Cup get back into Canada's hands in a long in a great, a long time. But for Game 1, let's go under 5.5 with some nice money. Only negative 102 on that. Guys, let's finish off June with a bang. We have a great deal here over at SportsMemo.com. You get the rest of June all access, all sports, includes 5% plays, only $177. If you were to get it today, it's a little bit more than $7 per day. You get all my sports that I'm covering. It'll take you right through the end of the month for the NBA Finals, Stanley Cup Finals, also in action for the MLB and WNBA. I'll have my 4% um, my NHL best bet locked and loaded at sportsmemo.com for you guys. And that's the advantage of getting a long-term pass is that you would get that Edmonton Oilers play that I shared with you for the series at plus money. You would get that as part of the client package if you got the all-access over at sportsmemo.com. So really consider that long-term pass. Only $7 a day. It's really a great deal. It's about the best deal you're going to get over at Wager Talk and Sports Memo. There'll be a link for that attached to the video. Enjoy the cup, guys. Good luck. Hit the like button on the way out. 
And let me know in the comment section what you guys think about my plays and who do you guys like in this game. Who do you guys like in the series? Let me know. Enjoy the games.